not exemplify the attributes of God if I'm tired, if I'm, um, um, I don't have a balanced life. So I wanted to, to encourage y'all this, this week. What area in your life do you feel like is depleting you? Is it you running around too much? Is, you, is it you not going to bed on time? Is it you not eating properly? Is it you allowing people to offend you all the time because you ain't standing your word? Are you lacking in your prayer closet? Are you not spending enough time with God? Are you not taking advantage of the tools like journaling, uh, listening to podcasts when you're feeling overwhelmed? Are you not, I mean, whatever you need to do this week, I want you to take a second and think about the things that are draining you because you have the ability to change it. We serve a God of self-discipline. He gives us a self-discipline even to make changes. And he didn't want us to live an overwhelmed life or an empty life. That's a decision. And because when he allows you to see that you're running on fumes and you're touching and you all of these things that he's not pleased with, he shows you those things so that you can make adjustments. That's it. Ooh. So when he shows you that, because he's a God of correction, too. If you broke, stop spending money on stuff that you ain't, you, you, you ain't supposed to spend money on. It's all of these things collectively that allow us to live in the abundance of God and to be fueled every day. And to walk in his, um, his faithfulness. Last thing I'm going to say is cast your cares on the Lord for he cares. That's how you become empty. You empty yourself in the presence of God and then he will fill you back up. If you feeling empty, if you feeling lonely, if you feeling like you don't have answers to something you've been praying about and praying about and praying about, you need to make sure that you are refueling yourself in the word and you refueling yourself with good friends that are wholesome, that are saved. That fellowship that you've been lacking, all of those things right there is going to help you to refuel. God is not a God that just gave us one way, one way to get help in those areas. All of these tools that we're throwing out here to help each other, because some of the things I'm saying is reminding me of to do. This word hit me first. Believe that. Okay? And some of it is my testimony that I've had to overcome, but some of it is also reminding me of the word that the Holy Spirit is downloading in us today. I don't know why this is the first thing he threw on my mind, but somebody's feeling overloaded. Somebody feeling empty. Somebody feeling tired. Somebody feeling like they want to choke somebody. Somebody feeling discouraged. And God wants to refuel us today. So I want to pray really quick. Lord, thank you so much for this time of fellowship. As we come to a, a end of the word today, we, we know that you're not a God of accidents. We are all probably collectively feeling a certain way in a certain area of our life, but you are the God that disperses the word every way it needs to be dissected. And so we trust you, God, that today you are fueling us up, even at this very moment, in areas where we can't even see. You're going before us. You're making those places that are have been dry and desolate, those places that are, 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 are um, not hydrated. We thank you that you are fueling us up, God, giving us strength to endure the hard times, healing our hearts in broken places. You're giving us the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, God. You are filling us up with even the things that we don't even know we're going to need this week. But you are intervening in our situations, in, in our circumstances, in our lives, because you are God that knows all things. I said earlier that, and the scripture says, the Bible says that we do not serve a high priest that's not in touch with how we feel. So we thank you that the word is dispersed evenly today in every house and every person that will look at this and every person that is lacking in, in an area or they're feeling and that, that they're needing, to, that, that they're empty, God. We thank you that you are filling us up with whatever we need. You are the great I am. That's what the scripture says. You are the potter. You are the clay. You are our advocate. You are our strength. You are our helper. You are our God. You are our everything. And so we thank you that whatever we need to be filled up with today and throughout the week, that you're doing that right now at this very moment. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Um, Sister Phoebe, I got some, some stuff to say. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, First of all, I want to say, like, uh, 
Uh, the message was awesome. Absolutely love it. I want to say, um, you know, thank you for like even the practical things because you know things will come out spiritually, but then you also need to figure out how to um, do it practically. So like the journey, journaling, and then like you said, getting around like-minded believers because in the in the word it says the iron sharpens iron. You know what I mean? And like you said, to seek wise counsel. So if I'm trying to um, mature and spiritual things, then why would I go and speak to some of my friends that are natural or who are, you know, not in the world? So it right. is important to be around like-minded individuals because iron sharpens iron. As much as it cut, you know, like you said, it comes from a good place. It comes from a, a, a place of healing, yes. even though it cuts it, you know what I mean? Amen. So, I like I like that. And then secondly, when you were talking about the fruit of the spirit and all of these things, it just reminds me like you can't do that without the, the Lord because it's, we're in right now, love, joy, patience, kindness. Literally the world is going against everything that they're telling us to do. They don't tell us to love, they tell us to hate. Yes. They don't tell us to be gentle, they tell you to go hard. They tell you that, you know, instead of having to self control, everybody do everything, do what you want. Do what you want to. You know what I mean? That you have to have the spirit, the spirit like you know, don't conform to the world that you reminded me of, like of mm. the fruit of the spirit. The world literally is telling you to do the opposite of whatever yeah. the fruit of the spirit is telling you to do, and you have to have that in you. Mm. Otherwise, the world is not going to give you any option because they tell you to do opposite of what right. the word of the Lord is saying. So I thought that was um, amazing, and I, I just I thought that was really good. And I just wanted to say that and to um, love them anyway and self-control. I was dealing with something this week. And lastly, the Lord was telling me, like, being obedient is better than sacrifice. I was watching this show. It wasn't like a big deal. It wasn't like just, you know, like some crazy show. And I, my eyes started to kind of lust for whatever reason. Don't even know why. I didn't even know. I was and I kept being like, oh my God, like, I don't know. I just feel like a, a weird spirit was on me. And, you know, I kept, and I kept yeah. hearing the Lord, like, you need to turn that, that show off. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so here I'm trying to argue for to try to act like a <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not hearing you correctly. Then he was like, no, you heard me. So then I'm trying to justify with him, right? I felt like, I mean, it's not bad. It's not like, it's, you know, doing anything that's going to make me whatever the case may be. But what it was doing, whatever, I don't know in the spiritual what it was doing, but I had to be obedient to the Lord because whatever it was, it was talking about our strength and not focus on whatever he has for me. Right. And so some, it is hard to crucify flesh because I was two episodes away from finishing the season. Yeah. And here I am, uh, uh, turn it off, excuse me. Turn yeah. it off, like I got to figure out what's going on. <laughs> uh, I was hot. So right. I was literally get my word, but the Holy Spirit would help me because as I was like really like upset because I feel like I don't get enough um, time to just relax. I finally found the show and now you tell me to take away my Right. You know, and, you know, over and over, like this scripture, though, it's better to be obedient to sacrifice and, you know, be content in what the, what the show was doing is having me not content in whatever I had going on, whatever the Lord was blessing me with. And I was, you know, and it, it caused some other things, you know. The man no, was I right. get you, hon. <laughs> no. And so it, it, it just, like you said, the fruit of the Spirit really has to come in and learn self-control. I have to literally, like it said so many times, turn it off. The flesh was like me. Don't you do it. There's nothing wrong yeah. with it. But self-control, self-discipline, what does the word of the Lord say? If he said turn it off, even though I don't know in the flesh why, I have to be obedient yeah. and I have to exercise, you know, self-discipline. I'm going to turn off the, the show. Yeah. And so, like, the fruit of the Spirit is never really easy, but it it, it prospers you so much yeah. more to follow it yes. you know you exercise it the more you exercise it it becomes easier too so you got to continue to do it because sometimes those things are going to be there and then it's going to be very difficult then you find yourself two months later because you had to go through it so many times it becomes easier to, to yeah. you know not want to gratify the flesh or whatever but you it's um, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> you know but get more and more right. it's this big monster that I'm trying to kill Woo. which just did it first told me to in the beginning oh you know as, as much as I literally want to cry I sat there and was like in a phone for like the whole four hours like oh gosh yeah. but you know yeah, yeah. so I just it, it just reminded me that the fruit of the spirit is something that I really do need to work on because I'm not going to get it from this world it has to come from the word Woo. the world is the opposite of what 
you know, they're not telling me to have joy. They're, you know, like you said, faithfulness. If it don't serve you, why, why be faithful to it? Mm. You know, if the I love it, love it makes you weak. You know, and peace. You know, they can't, they can't offer peace because they all either. So I, I really love this word. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I, I appreciate the word. I appreciate it. what God has spoken through everyone and to everyone on here. I'm going to try to play the video again and see if this work. If not, then y'all have the link. Let me try. Okay, let me copy it too before you go. If you copy it, can you send it? Yes, I should. I send it to the big thing. I got it. This was so, thank you, Lord. Jesus. 